Hey there. Today I got some technical pens I wanted to try out and um, I've loaded them all up with uh, this Ordring brand um, Indian ink, drawing ink. So they're loaded all the same except this one I will include as a bonus at the end which is loaded with um, writing ink uh, so no India ink at all. Um, what I got this um, um, Rotring isograph um, the Rotring isograph P um, the predecessor, uh, never mind the shaft, I just used uh, used a newer one, but they are in the rotring line of things, they are perfectly interchangeable. Um, so um, this nib is a variant or variant uh, nib, which ought to be from the 70s, I think. Um, this one is a Kern Prontograph, which is uh, from Switzerland, and um, this one's um, Faber Castell TG1 S technical pen. So, without further ado, I'll start with the rot ring. isograph.35 which is um, standard issue um, this is the the newer updated version uh, I don't know you can see this the 2000 version um, but there's not much um, difference um, in the series. Next one will be the Ordring Isograph P, which is uh, made for um, drawing with corrosive inks on transparent paper on, on foil matter. This one has a very, very nice feel to it um, because the tip um, is made from um, a different steel. It's uh, not uh, chromed steel, but uh, stainless. Also the gray shaft um, is because of uh, different um, plastic that's used. Very, very satisfying and nice feeling pen. Um, so the next one is a blast from the past, so to say. This is a um, Rotring variant nib. Uh, this is not a dot 35 but a 0 dot 3 is not an ISO nib. It's also a very nice feeling nib. Um, the only problem with the variant and various script nibs is that they tend to leak uh, pretty badly if you uh, forget to store them in the upright position. The next pen is a um, pen by Kern from Switzerland. I don't know if they're uh, produced anymore. Um, basically the same principle. 
but um, um, it's a different company. It's called Pronto Graph, and it's in dot thirty-five millimeter. You can already hear, I think, that uh, this one is a little bit more on the scratchy side of things. So very, very strong rectangular nib at the front, which um, gives um, the impression of a very high um, precision. Um, but it's also very unwilling to to draw curves, so it's much much easier to. Uh, you can see it here. It's much much easier to to make straight lines with it. And uh, the fifth pen um, I got here is uh, Faber Castell TG One S, uh, which is also. Um, a um, technical pen from a German company. Um, this one is a little bit different in handling because the um, it's also in uh, 35 dot 35 millimeter because um, and compared to all the other pens, the the grip position is um, different. The nib is longer, so um, the tip is um, a little bit farther away from the fingers um, than with all the other pens, which gives a little bit uh, different feel in handling. Also very very smooth. Some people say that it's um, the TG1S um, should be the, uh, very reliable, not leaking at all. Um, I'm under the impression um, that uh, this is actually true. The, I'm currently drawing a lot with the um, with the Rotring Isograph P with gray one, and uh, it started uh, leaking very badly this week um, because all of these uh, pens do not like to be stored in uh, in horizontal position. And um, um, this one is a um, Rotring. Um, 900, um, which is uh, rather a fountain pen, but it doesn't have a fountain pen nib. It's uh, this tip is called a stylograph and works uh, with the same principle, like the technical pens. So you got uh, um, a thin, um, thin pipe, thin metal pipe uh, with. Um, um, with a wire in it, um, and this one has uh, uh, not a, um, a straight, um, straight ending, a straight edge, but has a ball-shaped um, nib, which is also uh, very satisfying to to write and to draw with. You'll see. Um, this one is loaded with uh, Rohrer and Klingner Burgundy ink, writing ink. And uh, you can see that it's gliding uh, much, much better than the um, than the technical. So that's why I wanted to uh, include this 
here. Uh, you can also see that um, that this one is rather in the the double line weight of of the other, so dot seven dot eight um, millimeters uh, thickness. And uh, now I need to concentrate that I don't. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, from my perspective, the um, the for writing um, the stylograph is um, is the absolute best choice, um, and my favorites in uh, for drawing are the uh, Rotring Isograph P and uh, the Faber-Castell TG1S. Um, I didn't yet try um, the Städtler Marsmatic, um, which also are um, very uh, interesting technical pen, but uh, I don't uh, possess one yet. Um, I'll open up the, uh, the different different pens for uh, comparison so that you can see the the different tips as I said the 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 good thing with the Rotring pens is that uh, they are completely interchangeable, so you can can mix and match all parts of all generations of of pens like uh, you want. Um, so that's uh, definitely a plus. But it, as you can see already, the uh, the black uh, the gray one is already leaking um, again from lying on the tabletop. Um, whereas the the others um, are not uh, really um, affected by that. Um, with the variant ones and various script, um, they tend to uh, to to build a, a drop of of ink um, in the area where the air passes through, which then leaves the pen. In an instant, so you don't have it on your fingers first, um, but uh, directly on the paper, which is why I don't like them as much. Um, yeah, so um, I hope this was interesting for you. Um, yeah, take care and have a nice weekend. <laughs>